As this is the first day of Holy Week, I am reminded of our first Palm Sunday service online. Lockdown was getting pretty serious, and so Pastor Eric and Pastor Amy decided to film Church at Home. Well, like a lot of our new technological experiments, it didn't go as planned. Technology didn't behave, there was no sound for a good chunk of the service, and I'm pretty sure Pastor Eric almost lit himself or something on fire. So we just decided to cut the service short that day because nothing was really working. The best part about all of this was you all being so understanding and supportive. As we were all still new to this online church thing, we often extended grace to one another. We were also able to laugh at this situation. Well, that didn't work, so I guess we'll figure it out next time. The beginning of the pandemic, everyone was pushing kindness. We're all in this together, and the only way to get through this is taking care of each other and taking care of ourselves. As the months went on and on, stress kept escalating. How do we do online church and keep it engaging? How do I keep working from home now that my kids are on summer break? How do I keep taking care of myself and others? As our Pandemic fatigue has escalated and our self-care and maybe even self-positivity has begun to decrease. There are some times in online service that the staff can laugh and say, wow, we'll try that again next time. But there are also moments saying, why did I do that? I know better. I've been doing this for a year, so why did I make that mistake? This can apply to our home, work, or school lives too. Because it's been a year now, we sometimes feel that we have to have everything figured out. Everything should be much easier now that we are used to living in the pandemic. When Jesus was riding on his donkey and palms were waving in the air and on his path, it was a joyous occasion, a celebration. But in the back of Jesus' mind, I feel like he knew what was going to happen in just the next few days. During the celebration, I would imagine Jesus was thinking, if only they knew, if only I could tell them now, I know better. I've been leading these people for years. As the week goes on, Jesus washes the feet of the disciples and a hush goes over the room. They knew something was about to happen, but Jesus reassured them that it was going to be okay. Now the disciples know what's happening, and that should make everything easier, right? Just because we've been walking through this pandemic for a year now, doesn't mean we have to have everything figured out. And just because the disciples knew what was going to happen to Jesus, doesn't mean they didn't grieve, or they were scared, or even stressed. As we reflect on Holy Week this year, let us remember that no matter the year, pandemic or no pandemic, the church is always there to laugh with you through the new technological mistakes, or if you almost light yourself on fire, they're here for you when you cry and when you're hurting. And they are here to remind you that just because you're used to living in a pandemic now, doesn't mean we don't stop taking care of ourselves and each other. The church emergency number is 406-333-1856 or feel free to email or call Pastor Amy or myself. Don't forget, your mental health matters and we are all in this together. <laughs>